Hi guys, it's Pat, and as promised, I am going to do a video of all the charms that I received while I'm substituting for Leone um, for her charm swap on Life on the Scrap Beach. So, um, I had thought that I would do this video the first week of October and get these out, and then a couple of things happened, and so anyway, um, here I am. But um, today, this is my sole mission, is to... Um, Get this video done and get these um, separated and ready to go to you. So um, you he might hear some ticking in the background, and um, it's not a bomb. It's a little timer so that I don't go over because I don't know how many parts I might need um, to complete this video. But I'm pretty sure I won't get it done in one take because there's so many charms. So I just want to kind of pan. This is my dining room table. And so these are the charms, and uh, they're in the order that they came in, and I'm going to show you each one individually and try to do a decent job of that. Up there in the corner, those are the charms that I made. Um, and then right here are all of your envelopes, and... Um, the things that uh, I'll have to get together to go out to you. So, <clears throat> I'm going to start with the first charm that came in and keep going until we get to the, the last charm. And that's kind of how I'm going to do the order. So the first charm that came in is from Victoria McGrath. And uh, it's just a really super pretty charm. Um, so shiny. Um, I hope that the camera is picking up how dazzling this charm is. It's going in the um, Attic Treasures category. It's very, very pretty. Just so pretty, all of these. And then, um, this was just a gorgeous, um, but it's like little uh, iridescent sequins. And then, uh, this broken jewelry. Well, that's not really broken, but to me it would kind of symbolized broken jewelry. And then um, she has the uh, Tim Holtz, um, I forget what these are called, because I don't think these are the, um, um, all the Muse tokens. I think it, they're called something else, but it says free. And I'm sure that um, she has a variety of, uh, of um, um, you know, different uh, charms on each of the ones that she prepared anyway. All of these pretty buttons, and then she has the background of the cages and these pretty little flowers right here. So hopefully, I'll uh, remember to stay in frame while I'm talking about these. So that was the first charm that came in. The second charms that came in were from um, Leslie Smith, and she did two charms. So this is her. The first charm that she did was the uh, Attic Treasures. And uh, she's got a lot of pretty little things on here. There's a fan. Um, this is like a... I'm not really sure, but it reminds me of something that I would find in an attic, like a toy that my grandmother would have played with. And then a ticket, and then she's got a vase. And then in here... Um, <laughs> That's like a little alligator. But you know what? When I was a kid, um, before they were outlawed, we would go to Florida all the time, and they would have constantly buy these little stuffed baby alligators. Um, and I think, I don't know if they became endangered or, you know, when you think about it, it's pretty gruesome. So you, you could easily find that in somebody's uh, attic. And then on a card, she stamped a a variety of things that you might find in, in your attic. Then she also did um, one for junk drawer, and she's got a piece of a, um, a measuring tape, a paper clip with a button. Um, is this is like a clock. And then uh, so some keys and just some Little beads, scissors. I always have scissors in my junk drawer because I can never find them when I want them. But so that's her junk drawer charm. She did two. 
And then the next charm that came in is from um, Kathleen. I was looking at her. The name of her blog is catbug66. Okay, no, wait a minute. That's her. That's her email address, so I don't know if I want to um, give you that. But anyway, I love um, both the a charm and the way she did her tag because this is a transparent tag, and, you know, she must have used alcohol ink. And then she stamped on there. Uh, it says, every day lived well makes yesterday a fond remembrance, and every tomorrow a dream of hope. This is very pretty. Um, this uh, is like a little, <laughs> uh, it's just a little, like a little, little tidbits in here, little buttons and various things. And, uh, and then a coin. She's got a card here, a little measuring tape. Um, and the theme that Leone had, um, in addition to, you had your choice of junk drawer or um, other treasures, but um, the uh, colors um, that Leone proposed were, uh, blue, green, and brown, so you can see very pretty the way that she did that. And this is just like a little, I don't know, it's like a little token or something. And uh, just some little dainty little beads, and this almost looks like a little ring. Very pretty. Kathleen, very nice job. No, it's a little key. So cute. Oh, and then a gear. So all kinds of things that you could find in your attic. And, uh, okay, so that goes there. Okay, then the next tag is from Katina Rivera. And this one I didn't take out of the bag because, um, and I, I did take most of them out because I have plenty of these bags and various things that I could, um, you know, pretty. I was pretty sure that I could put it back together. But um, the way that she had this on here, I just wasn't sure that I could get it back together exactly the way she had it. So, um, but anyway, on YouTube, she's a Pinkaboo Scrapper. And uh, this is her Attic Treasures. Um, uh, charm it's just adorable and I don't know how much you can see um, through uh, the cellophane and everything but she has a little umbrella here there's a little fan a little clock a little teapot and of course the charms they're just beautiful um, so hmm trying to jiggle it to see if I could get uh, some more of the charms uh, out there. Plus, she sent me just some absolutely beautiful treats, some buttons and charms and um, all kinds of trims. So, oh, Katina, thank you, thank you, thank you, because they're beautiful. Um, and the only way is, oh, look, there's just some really pretty charms in here. The only reason I'm not taking this apart is just because of in the interest of time. And I wanted to make sure that I got through everything. So that's Katina's. And then the next charm that I received was from the United Kingdom. And this one is from um, Vicki. Vicki Young. And if you've gotten her charms before, you probably recognize she does, um, she uses these little um, they're like little dice to me, but anyway, they're the alphabet letters. They're really pretty. So she did junk drawer, and she's got uh, a little receipt. Uh, I don't know how many receipts I've had in my junk drawer over the years, and I, I keep them because, you know, in case something has to go back, and then they end up being in there forever. But uh, they're pretty. And then we've got uh, right here. Uh, I've somehow kind of gotten this hung up with their scissors and uh, sort of wants to well, I'll have to get that kind of untangled but 
Anyway, there are pins and scissors and um, oh, so that's a little cup with some scissors and various things in it. And then she has a little um, a little ruler and a little hand here. Um, but this is really cute. She and there was a different one on each tag, but it's a little uh, screwdriver, so very appropriate for junk drawer. So that is from uh, Vicki Young, and uh, she has a uh, um, a blog. It's KelseyCrafts.blogspot.com, and uh, let's see, she's um, Vicki. Let's see if I can read this, Vicki. It looks like Vicky C L E S or Vicky D E S 2006 on YouTube. So anyway, very pretty charm from from Vicky Young. Then I'm watching my time here. <laughs> the next charm that I received. This is just so clever, and this is from um, Gail Lou, and it's so cute because. She did her tag, as you can see, she did it on a dress form, but she has, um, on the back, she has her name on one of the little, um, you know, uh, die cuts that's uh, like a spool of thread. So cute. So, anyway, here's her charm, and it is just adorable. She has um, the uh, opera glasses, um, I say opera glasses, but... Uh, I can't think of the other name for them when you go out and watch birds. But, uh, so let's see what else. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh, look at these little glasses. I guess it would help if I would get this back into frame. And then the opera glasses, little buttons, um, a little dice, a number, um, a camera. And then, uh, oh, passport. Yeah, I could see that. An old passport in the attic. So cute. So that's Gail's. And uh, just adorable. So then the next one that I received, okay, it looks like I'm going to run. Um, okay, I should be able to do one more. So, um, this is from Trudy Hutton, and uh, I do a lot of swapping with Trudy because she hosts a lot of swaps, and uh, her, um, I think, on YouTube she's Texas Scrapper, um, but she might have a blog that's, a, that's crafting till dawn, not exactly sure about, about that, um, but anyway, oh. Uh, and I hope that this video is, is even beginning to do this charm justice because it's so gorgeous. And I will say, Trudy, that you caused me to spend a fortune because uh, after I saw this, I had to go out and buy some bead caps. And, um, you know, I placed a big order for bead caps. And, okay, that means I'm close on my time. Uh, it was kind of just jumped out of my skin when that little buzzer went off, but I'm okay for to finish this up. Um, so we have the little keys and uh, a clock. And look at this. Oh my goodness, this is one of those little old uh, record players. And uh, a little uh, bow and a little coin. And just, but look at these bead caps. They're beautiful. And the colors on this. Oh, this is like my favorite right there. So anyway, I've now spent all kinds of money on bead caps because I have to add them to my charms. So I'm going to stop for now and I'm going to pick back up with uh, something else from Trudy and then go on through hopefully the rest of the charms. This might be a three-parter. Thanks for watching.